everyone. Thank you for hanging out with us tonight while we ran off to take a quick break. Uh, we are back, and we are still in the middle of stopping the evil scheme of the Ptolemaic Order and Aristarchus of Samothrace, a.k.a. Crazy McCrazy Face. Yes. That was a lot of aces all in a row. Ugh. <laughs> um, our heroes made their way across Cyprus, and they came to this clearing where a big pyramid was erected, where the Ptolemaic <laughs> Order is... <laughs> The Ptolemaic Order is beginning to uh, try their evil scheme to destroy Egypt. Our hero stepped in to, uh, to stop that, and we rejoin our death next in initiative. That's me. That's you. Well, so Evie, your Inspire is two, right? Yes. Okay, so that'll take care of the penalty of two for being counterblind from the Bright Flash. So let's take a two penalty and... Take a little bit of movement. <laughs> we'll take a two penalty and try and shoot at the two flying buggers. The one who shot at Alex and the one that shot at me. Boo boo! Boo! <laughs> Tired of you bastard shooting me, shooting my friends. First one. 21, I imagine, will hit. Yes, 21 will hit. Even with That's their DC plus two bonus it. for their. Uh... Their favorite environment. favorite environment. Curses. And then the other one? The other one, a 23 will hit. It's like he's not even blind. <laughs> oh, no. Hey. He probably oh, practices no. blind. <laughs> These aren't made of stone. Thank gosh. Yay. Uh, that's a bruise and a daze for the first one. And a bruise and a stagger for the other one. So what does that look like, Ardeth? Oh, with the ground shaking, the obelisk falling, people shooting him, getting shot in the back. He is stumbling backwards, wipes his hand across his eyes, and just sprays across the skies. Just angry at everything right now because <laughs> that's so many things shooting at him. So he just tick, 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 all the way across and manages to catch two in a delightful pulpy moment. Excellent. Yeah, they're not feeling good. Anything else, Ardeth? Um, as a question, sure. can I use my hero point for backup to show up next round? Since I did call in the boys, maybe they can help in dealing with some of this and the large amount of objects we've got to deal with. Oh, you're talking about the Magi? You're trying to call in Magi backup? Yeah, well, I called him in before we left. Yeah. Since we took uh, the slow route to get here. I'm willing to spend a hero point to help them get here faster. Cool. They probably came in a plane that doesn't have holes in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't quietly sneak through the forest to try and get here and run into this at first. They're going to paradrop in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm completely cool with this. Yeah, uh, let's go ahead and give me a hero point. We'll, uh... there, there was, they did have a little bit of a hang up running into this group of screaming mummies. <laughs> yeah, looking for this weird wiry guy. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Where is that Good. bastard? <laughs> <laughs> Feels like a good turn to me. <laughs> oh, they must be talking about Uncle Jonathan. <laughs> we heard a woman scream. We went to help her. We could not find her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. My reputation has gone global. Excellent. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you guys after the fight. Rick, your turn. Okay, I want to do something very Ricky, and uh, you tell me what I need. I'm going to tell you what I want to do. You tell me what I need to give you to do that. It's my favorite so, question as a GM. Rick, angry at these stupid laser hands that clearly have stopped working, is going to draw his pistols, run the 20 feet between him and the obelisk full force, shooting at the mummy and then he's going to slam himself into the obelisk to damage and or knock it over <laughs> and he is going to ah, the whole way he's gonna brendan fraser scream the whole that's way. correct yep. that, that feels <laughs> accurate i'm here for it um honestly that's just an extra effort action so that's the shooting the mummy and an athletics check to try and slam the thing over and i'll give you a plus two circumstance bonus for the charge you bonus. still have the the plus 
the, the costume from Evie's inspiration. Yes. I would like to use um I would like to use all out attack and power attack, but I want those to be against the obelisk. Is that possible? Traditionally, no, but I will let you use all out attack against the obelisk to get the plus five bonus to your athletics check. It's just going to okay. make you easier to hit. Okay. That's, that's fine. And you described an all out attack with your description, so. Yes. <laughs> all right. So he's going to do that. Oh, I have to. He's just going to. Uh, let's handle the shooting first. So close. A 23, excuse me, a 23 to hit. Oh, that'll definitely hit the mummy. Well, it was really close to the crit oh, yeah, for him. Yep. And if you want to use the power attack on the mummy, you could definitely do that. Although, even with power attack, it would be, the mummy would still be standing. Yeah, that's fine. And the, that was mostly a you know, here, take these bullets while I throw my body into this obelisk. <laughs> this uh, this mummy is still, like, looking around the corner to see if Jonathan is back there. <laughs> as, you, as you barrel into the obelisk, give me an athletics check. Cool, 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 cool. I'm sure that's fine. He's, like, looking behind it while Rick's coming the other direction, so he's just completely oblivious. Nice! Uh, Except you rolled acrobatics, not athletics. Oh. I'm fine with it. It's cool. Well, it's a it's a lower. I, I rolled the six instead of the eight, so I'm fine with it. For the plus two, that's thirty. Mm -hmm. Actually, should be thirty two because I still have inspiration as well. Mm -hmm. Yep. You so. took that obelisk out. I just. <laughs> so I'm like. I feel like with that kind of roll, like you not only knocked it over, but you did like a little hop and skid down it a little bit. My oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, like over here because I've just been shooting at these mummies and then I just don't even need to look over and it's just like, okay, dad's charging something. <laughs> yeah. He's still yeah. vaguely going, that's my husband. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Rick, you take this obelisk all the way down. Uh, the mummy makes eye contact with Jonathan on the other side of what used to be the obelisk. <laughs> Jonathan just stands there like, well, me. I just slide down it like a slip and slide and then roll off of it at the end. Oh, move. Yeah. They you know, can't Jonathan. See you if you don't move. You know, Jonathan didn't go, wasn't me. He just went, I did that too. <laughs> yeah, he like puts his hand on it as it's going over, like, no, 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 I helped. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, Ardeth and Rick, I forgot. Can you give me a fortitude save to resist the, the horrible heat right. in the area? Oh, yep. Apologies. You said fortitude? Yep. Oh. Uh, Rick, you don't have to roll a toughness check, but Ardeth, I will need a toughness check. You're looking for an 18. Poor Ardeth's having a rough go. Mm -mm. Ardeth, that's a natural one. That's not good. Oh, buddy! Uh, Ardeth, you will be staggered as the heat uh, the heat boils your skin and tears and starts melting your equipment onto you. He's uh, he's used to a he's used to a dry heat. Yeah, humid <laughs> heat is something that's else. With humidity. Oh yeah, it's terrifying. All these Midwesterners. <laughs> Just do a dry heat. What is the DC out of curiosity? Uh, it was an 18 for the toughness. Okay, gotcha. So you missed by 12. Yeah. Which is not good, our death. No. Oh no, not the toughness save for that. You missed by 10, not 12, plus 2. Oh, that's right, it's plus 2. So you're not staggered. You're just dazed. Ooh. Good job. Oh. Uh, the DC on the Fortitude save was an 18 as well. Okay, yep. Because I had great endurance as well as the inspiration, but still will come up shy. Oh, no, with great endurance is a plus 5, and the uh, plus 2 would make you 13 to 18. You'd, you'd succeed. You'd be fine. Oh, hey. That, that made the, a starter stuff. That is the uh, first time Arna great starts... endurance has been used in any of my games. As an... <laughs> Arna starts to melt, and then he remembers he's from the desert. He's <laughs> <laughs> even like fanning himself, like oh my god, and then he's like, oh wait, this isn't bad. Oh no, it's Ardeth. The shirt just comes open. I mean, it's right there. Oh dear. Oof. 
It's so a little toasty. Jonathan, like, whoo, swarm in here. There's something sexy happening over there. Uh, the mummies on their turn are going to maintain their defense. Well, there's only two mummies left that aren't the ally mummies. So, yeah, they're going to hang out here by this obelisk and do what they're told. I've moved myself because I feel like I would end up on the other side of it. <laughs> yeah, the other mummy is going to stagger forward and try to grab Jonathan. And get a whole seven to hit. So Yeah, because he's reaching over the butt end of the obelisk. Yeah, Jonathan's just like, ah! <laughs> I feel like he just ducks, like a, like a whack-a-mole game. <laughs> Brains. And the two up on the pyramid will fail to aid Aristarchus, so good job, <laughs> minions. Good job. Maybe he can just kick you down the stairs. Maybe that'll make the stairs harder to climb or something. <laughs> and that brings us back to Alex O'Connell's turn. I'm going to move forward 15 feet which is half my new movement because I'm fatigued. And that puts me just in range to shoot this one. Excellent. The and long so, gun or the Tommy gun? The, the, the squirt gun. Okay. Of course. And so I kind of imagine what this looks like is like as he's squirting, he's heading for joints like the neck and the shoulders and the legs. So that it's like, um, it's, it's, Small numbers of squirts, but they're devastating because it's just like all of a sudden his head falls off. This is the worst squirt gun fight ever. <laughs> or the greatest. Death. Or the greatest. Death by a thousand squirts. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, so is that all you want to do, Alex? Are you happy? That, that's all I got. Cool. You stalk forward. You blast a minion with your squirt gun. The horror sights are looking rough. Uh, one is bruised and dazed. One is bruised and staggered. The one that's staggered is going to take the recover action this round. Uh, the one that's dazed is going to retaliate against our death. Seems fair. And they will use two points of power attack. Because they all, they don't have the advantage, they just have the maneuver. For a 14 to hit our death's dodge. Surprisingly, no. You get out of the way. As the, air, as the golden ray of light shoots the ground next to you. And his daze will drop off at the end of his turn. Uh, Eevee. I'm Everybody's inspire bonus has gone away. Um, oh, one second. Uh, Alex, will you roll a fortitude save for me? For the heat. That's an eight. Ouch. Alex, will you roll a toughness check for me for the heat? That's 12. That is a bruise in a daze because it's a fail by six. Okay. So we'll carry that daze over to the next round. All right, and then Evie, give me a fortitude save at the beginning of your turn. And then Evie, give me a toughness can save. Can we roll? Yeah, can you, use can, yeah you can spend a point to re-roll if you want. You guys my left point. Uh, fortitude, yeah. Yes, fortitude. It's an 18. Uh, the number we were looking for was 20. Okay. So, Oh, no, it was 18. It was 18. It was 18. Just kidding. Oh, oh, okay. You're good. You're good. Lies and deceptions! She just, like, <laughs> scrambles up, like, I mean, a bit more to be like, oh, that's really warm down there. I know. So now she's like, <laughs> she's like, grasp around this woman's thigh and, like, and her like... feet are, like, on her ankles, just holding her up higher, just being like, we should really, I don't know, no. We should really not be up in the air right now. <laughs> We don't want to be down, but we don't want to be up. Uh... You are about 20 feet off the ground at this point. Oh, great. We're st she's still going up? She's still she's... going up. Um... Let me look up the falling damage rules in deep. I'm not masterminds. falling. I want us to go down. You're not falling yet. <laughs> go to the island, they said. You won't fall out of the sky, they said. <laughs> I am eating my words. Thank you. <laughs> That's right. You are the one who said you can't fall on the ground. And I'm the one who said, why would you say that? <laughs> what would you like to do, Amy? Besides not fall. <laughs> you know what? Um... I'm going to try 
parachute, this motherfucker. That's in the air with us. I love that for you. You're like holding on with one hand and then you're just gonna <laughs> shoot with the other. No, no, I see her still holding on with both, but just trying to oh, aim gonna... while. No, 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 no. If I'm perched up on her leg and like, I am thoroughly like invasively gripped around her thigh like this, I'm gonna unholster from my left side or whatever hand, what, I'm, I'm wonky with guns, but. <laughs> you know, I'm take aim and poo. No. Yep, that tracks. That seems, that seems about right. No. That no. seems right. You can no. spend a hero point to reroll if you'd like. Yep. I am. Screw that. <laughs> that was a one. There. Uh, that's an 18 with the revolver to shoot the Horus sight. Uh, that will hit. <laughs> For a DC 19. Fine. Oh, no. I roll a natural one for its toughness check. Oh yes. Which gives oh, that's like four natural ones in the last like fifteen minutes. I know. Roll twenty's algorithm does not care about this <laughs> at all. Roll well, twenty's um, ending this tonight. So how do you say <laughs> one shot my ass? <laughs> I want to go home. I'm tired, boss. <laughs> <laughs> You're still playing this game. <laughs> Uh, okay, Evie, how do you kill the Birdman? I feel like it is not even paying attention. It is it has been focused on Ardeth too much to where like he just gets shot straight through the back of the head. <laughs> and the bullet yeah. flies out and it turns into sand and falls to the ground. Remember you remember that uh, image of Randy Johnson throwing a fastball and <laughs> destroying <laughs> that bird. Fun yeah. well, fact, the bird survived. <laughs> bird. Look for that bird. I don't know yeah. if I would want to survive that. But... Did you imagine it surviving? It definitely went back to its friends and it's like, guys, that's what happened to me. <laughs> you will not believe. You will not believe this. Did you know humans could summon lightning bolts? <laughs> <laughs> like a meteor came at me. Good job, Evie. Is there anything else you'd like to do? <laughs> no, I'm just going to be like, whoop. Excellent. And we're on round three. So Amina's going to make another will save. This time without the plus two. Oh no! Oh no! It's getting worse. Uh, Evie, you raise another twenty feet off of the ground, and the golden light that is coming from her eye up into the sky uh, begins to encompass her whole head, almost like an angelic halo. Nope. Is there any? Is like uh, never mind. I. Hmm. Mm. Just gonna add the little flying icon to your guys' characters. Oh, are you inaccurate at this point? And have that falling icon at the ready. Yeah. Uh, Jonathan, your turn. Jonathan kind of wants to be a big damn hero. That's a good move for Jonathan. Okay, but he's real bad at that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How will he fail? I'm here for it. What do you want to do? Amusingly or spectacularly? You have my unerring support. Well, I can't make it to him, damn it. So Jonathan's going to move. Oh, this is so stupid. I will say you don't have to hit somebody in melee with a rifle. You can't shoot from farther away. I know. I... <laughs> What I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to move closer and I'm wanting to draw his attention to me and then shoot him in the face. Mm, that's what he wants to do. Cause so he wants to taunt him. So he wants to walk over. He wants to taunt him cause he's feeling really confident cause he killed one of the mummies and he Definitely assisted in knocking over two of the, the obelisks. <laughs> yes, yeah, he totally <laughs> assisted. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he wants to. Uh, so he's like dodging away from the one guy that he could very easily shoot in the face, and he wants to be a big damn hero. And he's gonna move right there. So he's gonna move over here. Oh shit! Move, Jonathan. 
because I can't have to go back to the arrow. <laughs> yeah. So he's going to move right there. Uh, he's going to look at the mummy and he's going to taunt him. Excellent. <laughs> so I just go ahead and give yeah. me a deception check for the taunt. Okay. 29? Wow. <laughs> I didn't even use... I, didn't, I have, like, all these extra things that I could use for deception, too, and I haven't used any of them. So you beat him by three points, which means he is demor... Or by three degrees, which means he's demoralized for a minus five penalty to all of his rolls until the beginning <laughs> of the next turn. Badass. And he yes. did so not get any help from his mummies. No. Yeah. So basically, he's coming over and he's looking at the mummy, trying to get it to call his attention to him, and he's just like, "Hey, you big dummy!" And he's like, "Watch this!" And then he's going to pull out his rifle and he's going to shoot him. Excellent. Uh, if you want to spend a hero point, you can do that I'm without there. penalty. Or if you want to go to fatigued, you can do that. Well, I'm already fatigued, so okay. so you. I'm going to use my hero point, and I'm going to shoot him. I swear to God. Hey, you okay, at least I have a luck point, so I can at least I have two chances to get this right. Nice. 21? It's on the board, Steve. It's on the board. Uh, 21 will hit. And he gets a minus five to this roll, so let me put that in. I'm so annoyed for him. It's a DC 20. <laughs> uh, he rolls an 11. Uh, that's what, that is with the minus five as it factored in already, but that will be a bruise in a daze for him, Jonathan. What happens as you shoot him in his whole mouth? <laughs> his whole ass face. So he kind of turns around. The mummy turns around. He's like, oh, oh, at me. And I'm just like, yeah, whatever. And I just shoot him right at him in the face. And he just kind of, he's just kind of like, uh, <laughs> it's just like a, a hole. Like when the, the cartoons where someone gets shot in like the stomach and like it just leaves a hole in its face. Like that's essentially, you shot him in the mouth and it's just like a hole that goes straight all the way to the back. Excellent. Uh, Jonathan, at the end of your turn, I'd like you to make a fortitude save for the yeah. beach. Jonathan, please tell me you have set up. Probably not. That doesn't sound like something Jonathan would have. Seven. I need a toughness save, Jonathan. You're looking for an 18. Well, oh, great. My total for that is a four. So, you're rolling 11. If you're happy with that, that's a bruise in a daze. So, it'll be a minus one to future toughness checks, and then you can only take a move or a standard next round, not both. That's fine. He's going to keep shooting him from where he's at. Excellent. So, you said it was a bruise and a what? A daze is the other condition. What's a bruise? A uh, hit. A uh, hit. Underneath oh, right. your um, underneath your okay. will. Wow. God. Shot him right in his mouth. Yeah. Because like... <laughs> I'm thinking of the original where he opens and he's like ah, he's like yelling and trying to eat them in the sand, mm -hmm. but he just like shoots it through his mouth. Excellent. Uh, Jonathan, did you check your advantages to see if you had the setup advantage? No. Okay, I didn't think so, but that yeah, doesn't sound like Jonathan. <laughs> no, yeah. I just have the move by action, improved initiative, hide in plain sight, something with equipment and daggers. Okay. Yeah, nothing that would help. Well, Jonathan, I will let you decide on your turn. Since he is dazed, he only gets one of his actions. Would you rather he have his lair action or his regular action? His what action? His lair action. L-A-I-R. That's the one that's causing all the really bad stuff in the area. Yeah, the lair action was the one that made everything go all rickety-rockety and made the heat all oppressive. Has, uh, the only thing he's done with the standard action, he's tried to hit me with a dagger, right? He uh, tried he, to rot you. He tried to rot you, yes. <laughs> Yeah, but and he's he, been missing with that so far. And he tried to, he did a big sunburst that only bothered our death last round. So. I was going to say, and yeah, and his dodge is pretty good. So I'm going to have him do his standard action. Okay, so he does not get he a will, action. He will, he will rot you. That's, 
That's what he's going to try to do. He gets a minus five to attack Jonathan because he's demoralized against Jonathan. Yeah, fuck you, mummy. <laughs> fuck your mummy. That's rude as hell. That's another seven to hit with him. <laughs> so that's going to miss Jonathan. And you know what? Jonathan I'm going to give everybody watches a hero point. And is like, is that all you got? You're give giving it. everybody a hero point. I don't like that. Because... My mummy's being embarrassed, and I'm embarrassed for him. <laughs> <laughs> Not only is he being embarrassed, he's being embarrassed by Jonathan. Yeah. So he will take an extra action. Uh, not a lair action, because that would be rude as hell. But uh, he will use a Mystic Blast, which does have multi-attack. He's going to attack three targets. Jonathan, obviously, uh, Rick, and Alex with the sword gun. So wait, so how does... Can I do anything with that redirect? Uh, only if you take the action to trick him uh, rather than taunt him. Trick and taunt are two different actions. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, but trick is something you can use deception to make somebody to do something that's not optimal for them. Like if you want them to attack a panel behind you or if you want them to attack their friend, that's how trick sort of works. Okay. Uh, but he'll do a Mystic Blast. Here's for Jonathan. He's going to get a minus eight to this roll because he's got a minus five for the Demoralize and a minus three for the Multi-Attack. Uh, 11's probably not going to hit Jonathan. What is it? What is he hitting? Your dodge, uh, plus 10. No, that's a 17. Okay, so you're good. Uh, Rick with a minus 3. Uh, 24 to hit Rick. Sorry, yeah. Rick. Actually, that feels right. That feels like Jonathan would definitely dodge it. <laughs> it would only hit Rick. He ducked. Yeah. <laughs> because Rick, I'm directly yeah. behind him. Rick takes the one Jonathan missed, or jo missed Jonathan. <laughs> Rick, do you want a hero point? <laughs> oh, God. Why would I want a hero point? What like do you want to do to Jonathan? me? I'm not going to answer that question. I'm just offering a hero point, like a friendly game master. No, uh, Bye, uh, good deceptions! Yeah, I'll <laughs> take it. Okay. I'm just going to add plus two to the DC as you get hit by both of them for a DC 25 toughness save. Cool. <laughs> cool. As you suffer the Jonathan complication again. No, I got it last week. That's true. <laughs> Jesus it fucking Christ. Christ. <laughs> so that is a miss by 15 if you want to take the stagger. You know I'm not going to do that. Oh. I don't even know why you're acting Five. like you think I'm going to do that. Five on the dice. No. There. That's much better. That's just a bruise, Rick. I'll just add it to my collection. <laughs> and then here's for Alex with a minus three. Pew pew. Oh, six is not going to hit. That's a natural one, so it's always going to miss. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> what, did you want him to hit your son? No, but I didn't want him to hit me either. <laughs> Honestly, though, that feels right. Like, it feels like <laughs> Jonathan's like, oh, and like jumps out of the way. All right, Ardeth. You got to spin ninety degrees to fire at me. Uh, Ardeth, I need another fortitude save for the heat. Absolutely. And don't forget your plus five for great endurance because I can't believe I gave somebody that advantage. Yeah, I still failed it. It's only sixteen. Okay, I need a DC eighteen toughness save. Okay then. Bam. You're fine. It's hot, but it's not that hot. Yeah, I got my shirt off now. It's breezy. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's cover girl. That's right. It's tough following the real hero of this adventure, Jonathan, but I'll do my best. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan's like, what is happening? Who am I? <laughs> who, who am I today? Uh, right now, Jonathan... I kind of feel like he either ducked or, I mean, I kind of feel like he may have tripped. Yeah, I feel like Jonathan thinks this is a fever dream right now. Like, he's like, the heat is giving him this, like... The vapors. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um... Lord, I do declare... <laughs> it's a mite toasty. Oh, let's take a shot at the bird man who keeps trying to shoot me. That seems like the right thing to do. Squawk. 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 And I will trundle forward a little bit. That will be my turn. Excellent. And at the end of your turn, I will say that you are your buddies show up. Day, back up. The Magi with an M. Here we go. 
I was going to say, Jonathan has contacts, too. I feel like he would have contacted somebody to help. I don't think, yeah, did, I don't think Jonathan anything was Jonathan's would. contacts would come more somewhere dangerous. That's true. That's true. <laughs> they are Jonathan also coming to shoot a chopper. To them. Uh, and I will give you control of these fellers on death. Our side has minions now. Yeah, they move as one group, Ardeath, and you can have them move up to 60 feet at the beginning of this turn. And I'll say they have the same stats as the Ptolemaic Order Warriors, so I will give you access to that character sheet. Our character sheets. More character sheets for our death. Yay! <laughs> uh, they get um, they get one series of actions. Uh, since there's four of them, they get a plus two to hit, plus two to damage, and a plus two to their defenses because they're a minion group. Gotcha. So they can do something if you want them to. Well, they've got a rifle and there's a bird man. So let's start there. Knock down the obelisk. Yeah, shoot the bird. Unlikely. Man. Yeah, unlikely considering Jonathan may be more athletic than they are. Don't question it. <laughs> but a 22 will hit. 22 will hit for a DC 21. Foresight's got a bruise. Uh, that'll be a difference of six for another bruise in a daze. Take it. They will just take half movement since everything's shaking. As they run by, blasting the uh, sky where the horror site is. Anything else, Ardeth? Sounds good. I appreciate it. Cool. Uh, Rick, over to you. So the first thing that's going to happen is I'm going to remember that thing, whatever it was, that I took from the vault. Excellent. And I'm going to be like, what does it do? <laughs> so, Rick, you pull out a small uh, sextant uh, made uh, of uh, gold uh, and sextant. papyrus. And as you lift it up and you see that the ground is rumbling and shaking, uh, the device begins to sort of oscillate and I would like for you to roll just a d20 plus 10. Is it 23? You have bested me. So in the immediate area around you, the ground stops shaking and the heat goes away. Nice. The heat is off. <laughs> yes. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> As uh, this sort of it, this device sort of stabilizes and the obelisks stop glowing, uh, and it begins to glow in a counter sort of silver color. You have a layer effect nullification sextant. Oh! All right. Well, in that case. <laughs> First, I'm going to move to the, I'm going to move past Jonathan and go, Jonathan, move to the base of the stairs, crack my neck, aim my guns up, use my action to run full speed up the stairs at him. Oh boy. And I will spend my hero point so that I can fire as I move toward him. Excellent. And I'm going to get right up in his face. Excellent. Roll to hit. So cool, cool, since cool. I'm not covered by those weird swirly things, does that mean I'm safe too? You are safe. At the moment. I can move regular then, right? Yes. Well, you can move half speed because of your fatigue, but yeah. Oh, right, uh, right. Before you tell me if that hits or anything, uh, I wanted to use all out and power attack on this one because I believe I can do that. Both of those 
yes. on this one, right? You can. Okay. Yep. So uh, I'm going to do five all out attack, five power attack. So it's still a 19, but. Well, a 19 is a hit, so good job. Uh, it's a DC 24. He rolls a toughness save. Oh. Gets a 21 for another bruise. What does that look like, Rick, as you charge up the stairs screaming and blasting? Just, like you just described boom, 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 That's, yeah. <laughs> like, like, you're a terrible mummy. <laughs> <gasps> he is aghast at your accusation, sir. What? He's aghast? Yes. <laughs> yes, that would make him a terrible mummy. Excellent. So good job, Rick. The mummies on their turn. This one's going to shuffle over here and try to take a bite out of Jonathan. Sorry, I think... Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> and get a nine to hit because I can't roll double digits for to hit rolls. Except for your toughness saves. Yeah. So, Jonathan, you're able to shriek and get out of the way. <laughs> that plot armor is amazing. <laughs> The group of mummies over here is not able to move full speed, so they will move 15 feet this way. And they will move 15 feet to the base of the pyramid, up this way. Uh, and then this mummy will roll an athletics check to see if it can help. It will fail, so it will only be able to move at half speed. Which is still enough to get into close range with Rick. And it will attempt to grab you, Rick. Sure. Oh, not Amina. The mummies. Uh, 11 to hit your parry minus 5. Uh, It is 11, so... Okay. Give me a strength check as the mummy reaches out to grab you. You're Rick O'Connell. You don't care about mummies. Uh, get off of me. <laughs> <laughs> You're also a terrible mummy. <laughs> oh. He said something in Hieratic, or Ancient Greek, that Evie yeah. might hear. <laughs> 40 feet in the air. Right. <laughs> it's the uh, Ancient Greek worry of saying you're hurtful with your words. Yep. That's um, right. <laughs> Alex, give me a fortitude save at the beginning of your round. Or the heat. Uh, give me a toughness save for the heat. Really like to uh, to roll about single digits for these, please. Nope. Uh, good news, you were already dazed, so just one more bruise. Um. Question. Because mm -hmm. I was gonna shoot that mummy, but he moved out of range. Is a charge a standard action? It is. So I'm going to make like my dad charge into this obelisk trying <laughs> to knock it over. Excellent. I'm such a bad influence. <laughs> um, give me an athletics check just to make sure you can get over there without stumbling on the, on the rolling ground. You're fine. And then this is going to be a little bit different since you want to do it as a charge action, like a slam attack. Uh, you're going to run into it, and you're, I'm going to need you to give me your athletics plus one. And then you're going to have to roll a toughness check versus that effect, the half of that effect. The kid's going to knock himself out over there. Oh, yeah. No, I was already thinking that too. So a toughness save of nine? Uh, no, uh, so what is your athletics? It's plus six? Okay. It's yeah, plus six. So I'll need a toughness check of 18. Okay. Question. <sighs> Question before I decide whether or not to roll my hero point. Did anything happen to the obelisk? Uh, 17 is not enough to knock the obelisk over, but I'm willing to let you spend a hero point to reroll that if you want, or the toughness check, whichever one you're... If you yeah. don't reroll the toughness, you'll be staggered. Well, I got an 18, not a 17. The 17 was for the shaky ground. Right, right, right. 18. 18 is not enough. But it's still not enough. And I've learned from previously, I'm pretty sure the DC is 25, which means I need to roll a 19 or higher. 
five, ten, five, I'd have a twenty percent chance. If you roll a nine or a ten, you'll if with the hero point, you'll also yep. get it. Yep. So I got a twenty percent chance. You know what? Sure. I'm gonna spend the hero point to re-roll the athletics. Bravely done. Because go for it. <laughs> Yellow. Stupid choices. Yes! Yeah. Nice. Nice. Badass. Oh, wait. It's not a 19 result. I rolled a 13. Damn it. Nothing happens. And I fail my toughness by 12. You know what? Since you staggered yourself, I'll let you knock it over. Yay! <laughs> I'll give you a like, oh, oh, and I'm standing there for a second, and then just. Did I do it? Like, you lean, you lean on it because you, you're hurting yeah. so much, and it's like you leaning on it was the last little bit to push it over. Uh, did, I, did I get it? You were bleeding pretty profusely from your face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he did not take after Rick, he took after Jonathan. That yeah, yeah. Right. You lost your last baby tooth. I just, I just see that. If out of the corner of my eye as I'm glaring at this mummy and I go, lead with your shoulder, kid. <laughs> Excellent. Good job, Alex. The Birdman, who's by himself because his mate is dead, is going to take his bow and shoot our death's minions. I don't know, my homies. Uh, he will miss the homies because, again, I cannot roll above a 10 to hit. Uh, his days will drop off at the end of this round. And that'll be the bow man, bow bird, Evie. The bow bird. <laughs> the bow bird. Over. Evie, you're 40 feet up in the air. I know. <laughs> it's terrible. Okay, so can I use? All right. So, no, you... you're staggered, not stunned. Fatigued? Who's fatigued? Everyone's fatigued at this point, right? Just about. I think everybody but you is fatigued at this point. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm doing nothing but hanging in the air. All right, I'm going to spend a... You should just let her go. I cannot let her go now. That is too... I will I will die. Well, I mean, I before, you should just let her go. I could yeah. have, but I was trying to save her, and here we are. You know what, Evie? Okay. She is suffering the stunned condition. I think you could spend a hero point to make that go away. So I'll use leadership on her of, like, I am done. My son... Ooh, food. Um... <laughs> 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 I wasn't expecting that. I am happy now. Um, okay, so my, my son needs me. We have to go down now. I am <laughs> done with this. And uh, so, all right, I'll spend the hero point and get rid of her stunned and try to get us on the fucking ground safely. Maybe I don't know. Give me. Dad, mom just said a bad word. Right, kid. <laughs> I'm give busy. Me, give me a team <laughs> acrobatics check, Evie. <laughs> Evie, do you have teamwork as an advantage? Oh, you're muted. And this is not muted, but her mic's gone. What? Yeah, we can't. No, no we, we didn't hear you. Barely. Oh. No? What? Now we can. Yep, now what? We can. There we what? go. What? I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Do you have teamwork as an advantage? Yes. Excellent. So <laughs> you'll get a plus five to this roll to try to aid Amina's acrobatics check to uh, make sure you don't die when you hit the ground. <laughs> I, I still need to roll on acrobatics. Yes, I need an acrobatics yes. plus five. Your DC's ten, so however high you can get above ten is a good <laughs> That checks. It is a six. Evie, you just needed a ten. <laughs> well, look, if she's never done anything in this life, it's all flippy flippy woohoo. No. That's fair. Uh, well, let's see what happens when Amina rolls her acrobatics check. How far are you <laughs> falling? You're falling forward. Does she feet. still get teamwork because I'm helping? Ish. Uh, but you're not helping. I'm not, you failed to I'm help. Not that helping. was the that problem. Was question. You, Jonathan, helped. <laughs> All right. So a fall. No, not that bad. She doesn't have a penalty. A fall in face. She has the penalty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, a fall inflicts damage rank 4 plus t twice the distance rank fallen. So, falling 40 feet. Well, I got good news. That is only rank 1 falling. So, that is... Isn't that like three stories? Yeah. Yeah, it's bad news. Um, That's only a DC 21 toughness save. Yeah. We saw how well she's rolling, too. But And you do remember this is Evie, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank God. Uh, Amina does successfully roll the acrobatics so that you ignore the distance fallen, but you will still take the uh, DC 19 toughness save, both of you. <laughs> hey, Mom, you're staggered just like me. Evie rolled a one and then a two. <laughs> Graceful. Uh, Amina will land on her feet like a cat, but Evie, you will come down in a heap of Evie blood and broken bones. Well, you know, because Amina landed on her feet on Evie's back. Yeah, it's mm. just on Evie. Probably her chest. Yeah. So, Evie, you will be staggered, but Amina is up and alive and... You were able to yeah. avoid round four's lair action, which is really good news. Oh. <laughs> you saved her. You did that. You saved the whole party, probably. Okay, that's nice. Ow! <laughs> uh, so, yes, Evie, you will be limited to a move or a standard action for the rest of the fight, and if you get staggered again, you'll be knocked unconscious. I'm doing shit from a distance, thanks. There's nobody with you. <laughs> <clears throat> so Amina will hit the ground, roll up, and she's going to uh, look at Evie, shake her head, and say, Thank you, Miss O'Connell. Or, d sorry, Dr. O'Connell. And she will, uh, she'll run forward to help out. When she gets there, she will unleash her laser beam. Yeah, she's going to fire her laser up here. On villain. On the villains. Uh, one for Aristarchus, and it is rank 6 damage for the Sunbeam. So I need a dodge of 16. Aristarchus will fail that dodge save because of course he will. He's got a face full of Rick right now. So The mummy <laughs> will succeed, so he'll have to roll a DC 18. He does practice. not, in fact, actually have his whole face, so... That's true. <laughs> and you have a Mom's turn close. next round where he'll be demoralized still. I have to double check demoralized. Uh, he is unharmed. Or, sorry, he does take a bruise because he has a weakness to the effects of the artifact, so he will still take a bruise. He's up to three bruises. Okay, good job. Amina. I mean, I guess the good news is apparently his toughness is much lower than his fortitude. I may have lied about those numbers because Evie did not succeed on her assessment. Oh. That's something the uh, GM is allowed to do if you fail your assessment. Yep, allowed to lie. And I've got to double check if Demoralize ends at the beginning or the end of the person's round. Because Jonathan might still have a Demoralize bonus. Until the end of your next round. So yeah, he is uh, still Demoralized to you. Uh, Jonathan, it is your turn. So... Oh. Jonathan's not going to let Rick one-up him. So... Jonathan... No, because I can up you just by existing. Yes. So Jonathan's going to move over here, and he's going to use the stairs as kind of a concealment. Because he's going to hide in plain sight, because obviously they all know he moved there. You are he's dazed not... if, that, if that changes your decision at any point. Meaning you can only move or... Action. Oh, fuck, I forgot about that. Or you could spend a hero point to move and take an action. Yeah, because he's going to shoot him, so he's going to also hit him. 
Excellent. So you can move there. Uh, go ahead and give me a stealth check. With your hide in plain sight, with a big screaming brick in his face, I'll give you a plus two circumstance bonus for Brendan Fraser. <laughs> the Fraser bonus. Well, that would be a twenty-seven. Oh, okay. Plus whatever. Okay. Plus two is a twenty-nine. So you are you have disappeared off of the librarian's. Uh, Dad, where did Uncle Jonathan go? <laughs> Rick's just like, don't look down there. Right here. This is what you want. <laughs> so, Aunt Puppy, you do have a bonus. He is vulnerable to your next attack because you are stealthed. So if you have power attack as an advantage, I would recommend using it. If you don't, you could still do up to two points of power attack to basically take a minus two to hit to get plus two damage. I have precision attack. That means you can shoot people behind cover without a penalty. Okay. That's what I'm doing, but that doesn't help me because I'm fine. Basically, Jonathan's built like a rogue. Yes. Okay. Because, okay. So basically, I wanted my goal was to move him there so that he's kind of hidden by the stairs. And then I'm going to shoot Excellent. the shitty you, mummy there again. Are so you going to take the minus two to hit to get plus two to damage? He's vulnerable. Yeah, might as well. And he is demoralized to you specifically. So. <laughs> if you hit him, he basically has eight bruises instead of three. Okay, so yeah, I'm definitely going to hit him again and then take the the extra damage there. So. And you have a luck point if you mess up. Like Fuck that. me, I'm using that luck point. Absolutely <laughs> fucking literally not. Oh, hey, Keith. Good to see you. And it's a 21 to hit. I'm about if I can hit him. 21 does hit. Uh, it's a DC 22 now because you spent power attack. 19 would also hit his vulnerable uh, parry, or dodge. So I've got to roll a 22 with a plus 0, so I can't roll a 22. That's a 9. <laughs> Is that with all the minuses? So that's minus the 8? Yeah. Well... He's got plus zero with minus eight. Okay. So he got a one, basically. The toughest save result was a one. No, no, I I took his I took all the bonuses out of the roll oh, before I okay. it. He's got a nine okay. plus zero right now. So that's a difference of thirteen, Jonathan. You stagger him with your shot. What does that look like as you deal another bruise to him, and uh, hurt him real bad? <laughs> so this time, so he aimed for the face the last time, so he's got the big gaping hole in his face. And now he aimed for the heart this time. Well, what he would assume would be his heart. And he does the same thing. He just does like a big gaping like hole right through his chest where his heart should be. I'm being killed by an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you calling an idiot? In a screaming idiot. buffoon. <laughs> Uh, An idiot and a screaming buffoon. Well, I, was gonna say, I forgot to say that when Jonathan moved over there, <laughs> since the other guy is still trying to grab him and Jonathan is just ignoring him, he just like whacks his hand away and just like runs over there. Excellent. And that guy probably doesn't know where you are because you rolled in an in, insanely yeah, high. Yeah, and now I'm like, I like hit his hand and ran away. And then he was like, fuck, where did he go? Uh. <laughs> All right, Jonathan. Um, Good news, he staggered. Better news, he can't do lair actions anymore because Evie cut him off of that ability by saving Amina. So he's uh he's gonna try to burn the flesh off of everybody in a sixty foot radius. Does that count me? I'm hidden from him. Yeah, yeah, you're definitely in that radius. <laughs> yeah, everybody but Evie is in that radius. Even his minions, so uh, I need everybody in the area to give me a DC 18 dodge check. If you have the evasion advantage, you do get a plus two bonus to this. That uncanny dodge, does that help me? No, it just means you're not uh, vulnerable when somebody surprises you. Because... You fucking kidding me! Roll 20 wide. 
Uh, our death roll for your minions too. Oh, poor little minions. Am I, I'm rolling. So I'm rolling for dodge. Okay. Yep. Oh my god! I'm all out of. I'm all out of hero and luck points. I don't want to push the button. I believe in you. Oh. A Twenty. Whew. If you succeeded, I would like for you to make a DC nineteen toughness save. If you failed, oh, I'd like for you to make a DC. Yeah, I'd like for you to make a DC twenty three toughness save. That is just a bruise. I'll take it. Did that even roll? Wait, I don't know if mine rolled. And it doesn't show either of you guys. Yeah, I see Rick's fourteen toughness. Uh, I see Amina's 16, Arda's 21. Yeah, I got a 15. Jonathan, you got to scroll way up, but I get it. It's above. Oh, okay. Oh, the warrior who got a 7. Oh, no. The warriors get burned away. The Magi were good while they lasted. Yeah, got to oh. love that mummy that rolled a natural 20. I feel pretty good about it. Fuck that guy. So when we're done, are you gonna tell us what round what round four uh, layer action was gonna be? Yes, yes I will. Uh, I'll tell you right now, it was Egypt gets destroyed. So good job. <laughs> what are you serious? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy crap! So really? Job. Yeah, that was. If you didn't get her un unmystified by the end of the by the beginning by the end of her fourth turn, Egypt would be destroyed. So you saved the day, <laughs> heroes. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, cool. Oh, extra super save the day. Good job, Evie. <laughs> Since none of us realized how central she was. I mean, we're still pretty we're sure like, Jonathan Evie. somehow did it, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jonathan helped her jump up. No. She didn't jump up, though. <laughs> no, that's not a thing, Jonathan. <laughs> no, that is. No. Uh, I mean, it gets a bruise in as well. I think... No, I know we're siblings and all, but you cannot take credit for everything that I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's the story he's going to tell everybody. Yeah, that's what's <laughs> being told at the bars in Cairo. Yep. Yeah, and not a single person believes it. Right. Uh, I've got really <laughs> good deception. You're damn right they believe me. <laughs> uh, our death, your turn. All right. Uh, let's go for the moon shot. Sure, why not? Wait, what happened to me? Oh, my toughness. Oh, you got an 8 versus the 18? Uh, you get a bruise in yeah. a daze. A bruise in a daze. Okay. Well, I'm already dazed. So you're good. You can't get double dazed. So. Your daze did drop off at the end of your last round, but it was reapplied just now. So. Oh, okay. Uh, our death. Uh, I'll take the uh, double days physical challenge. Oh. <clears throat> Do you love the physical challenge? Let's bad ah, moonshot. Why not? Power attack for five, all out for two. So minus three to this. No, that's my body. Ah, that's why I got a hero point. <laughs> try again. Try harder. Our whole team is now out of hero points. <laughs> 18 probably not hit. You said 18? 18. And this is oh, it's only minus sword. two. It's a 19. Or no, it is minus three. Oh, yeah. with your sword, his parry DC is only a six, so you hit him. Oh, that's a DC 27 toughness save. I can't roll a 27. I've got four bruises. Yeah, you can. Just hope for the best. Roll a one. Uh, he rolls a 16 to get another bruise in a daze. But he's already staggered. What happens, Ardeth? I'm team criminal. We do what we do best. He'll come <laughs> running in, and as Rick is yelling at him, he will take a broad sweep for the back and set him up for Rick to finish him off. Or more accurately, Jonathan, because he's the hero, but mm -hmm. <laughs> him in the back with the sword and hope for the best. Excellent. So you stab him real good. Do you want to do anything else, or? Sure, 
Let's go exhausted. Risk it for the biscuit. Oh, goodness. Ah, that will miss. That will miss. Uh, with your all-out attack minus three, that will miss. Absolutely. Feels great. So our death is doing his best. He's trying to bring the mummy down before anything worse happens. Uh, Rick, over to you. Well, see, the swing and a miss was enough for the mummy to miss the dynamite. I am going to go exhausted to do this because I believe I need to. I want to slam attack him backward down the stairs. And I want to shove the dynamite straight into his chest as I do so. Into the hole that Jonathan made? Sure. Jonathan helped? Little heart it's hole. You're gonna, you, you realize what you're doing there, right? Excellent. Um, well, Rick, go, uh, I'm gonna call... And I will power attack, all out attack this as well. Excellent, okay. I'm gonna call this a trip action. Okay. Uh, do you have improved trip as an advantage? No. So you'll just take a minus two penalty to it, and if you fail... I do have improvised weapon. Oh, good. <laughs> I um, improvised myself as a weapon. <laughs> right. So go ahead and roll to hit him. Yeah, I think it's uh, using the dynamite as a melee weapon. <laughs> yeah. I don't, uh, we'll what am this, I rolling? Uh, roll, uh, roll unarmed to hit him. Unarmed? Okay. And the magic number is 16. Did it fuck me again? Is that seriously another fucking one? Yeah, it's another natural one. That is three ones in a row. That's insane. That is statistically crap. What the heck, Roll20? I'm pretty sure Roll20 really does want Jonathan to be a big damn hero. <laughs> it tracks. I mean, you know, there is a 1 in 8,000 chance for that to happen. That is bullshit. Two more and you get Yahtzee. <laughs> so, um, you won't be able to trip him down the stairs? And he does get the chance to try to trip you back since you have didn't have improved trip. Oh, I don't care. I'm I'm if I'm not pushing him backward, I'm pushing myself backward down the stairs because I just shoved dynamite in his chest. Excellent. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> Please trip me. <laughs> I feel less confident about what I did. <laughs> uh, he does hit you, Rick, to try to yeah, trip whatever. you back. So go ahead and give me an athletics check. It's actually roll athletics this time instead of acrobatics. Uh, he does not trip you down the stairs, but you can still use your move action to run down the stairs or to let yourself be thrown down the stairs basically as you leave the dynamite zone. Oh, I'm just leaping backward down the stairs. I don't care. It's fine. And then, uh, <laughs> if you still want to go exhausted to do the dynamite attack, you can definitely do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, that's... And it is a 30-foot radius, so I think you can get 30 feet away from him. Yeah, you can get 35 feet away if you want to avoid the explosion. I'm just going to land on that mummy and, like, roll him over. Excellent. <laughs> uh, death and Jonathan, I need you to make a, do a, a dodge save. You guys are fine. You're not rolling 14 ones in a row. You're good. And it's, oh uh, come on! It's only been three ones in a row. It's a dodge of sixteen. I surprisingly got it. How the hell did he dodge the dynamite in his chest? I rolled an eighteen on the dice. It fell out when Rick jumped out. <laughs> <laughs> even even with his vulnerable dodge, it'd still be a twenty-two. But everybody still has to make a toughness save versus a DC 18. And he does have five bruises. Oh my god. Do I get anything for being hidden? Mm, no. <laughs> You're not hidden from the dynamite, sir. Oh my god! <laughs> you rolled worse than the mummy. Oh, well, it's because I have two I have two hits, and literally my toughness is two. That'll teach you to try to be a hero. <laughs> I know. So Ardeth will take a bruise, yeah. Jonathan will take a stagger, the mummy will take his second stagger. And what am I will, taking? 
a stagger. Bruise. So you're, you're uh, a bruise and a stagger. So you're dazed for the rest of the fight, and if you get staggered again, you're knocked unconscious. Okay, so I'm staggered, fatigued, and I've got three hits. Yes. You're fine. Oh. You're fine. <laughs> However, Aristarchus is a load-bearing villain, so when he goes That's down... That's right. <laughs> the other mummies all disintegrate into sand, as does the remaining um, bird person. And the shaking and the rumbling stops. And I'm just on the ground, and I go... Uh... It, still... Ooh. <laughs> I'm He's gonna go... over back at the start, just doing the same thing, I'm like, oh, oh this hurts. Uh, um... Gonna walk over to Rick and offer him my hand, and then when I pick him up, I'm just gonna deck him for letting Dynamite off next to me, <laughs> and then help him back up again. That's fair. Oh. <laughs> You're fine. Three fourths uh, of the O'Connell uh, family are staggered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna limp over to my mom slowly because I'm staggered. <laughs> And Is fatigue. Jonathan the only one? No, all four of us are staggered. I'm not staggered. Oh, you're not <laughs> Team Crom's got this. Somehow, <laughs> somehow, Rick is not staggered. Team Crime! <laughs> Excellent. Um... We have a, we have a Magi allergy to staggered. <laughs> we don't take that weak stuff here. Excellent. Um, well, as, as the situation sort of stabilizes and all of you set your wounds and sort of check on one another after this horrendous battle that you've just survived uh, in the jungles of Cyprus, um, uh, you're free to explore uh, the collection here in the pyramid. You find a bunch of relics and arcane knowledge related to the Library of Alexandria. Uh, you uncover a bunch of new secrets from the ancient world including the ability to remove the Eye of Horus from Amina's head. Oh, okay. Cool. I'm just Off like... on the back of the head. Do we I'm figure just out like, how to uh... destroy it? Uh, you have not figured out how to destroy it, just how to isolate it. And keep Why it... are we going to destroy it? No, we're taking it back. I need because the British powers this, to see this. It's a crucial part of this weapon that destroys Egypt. And it's not going to stay here. We're going to take it back to England. I'm going to write a whole new dissertation on it for the Bembridge Scholars. It's going to be amazing. I'm pretty sure the mummy guy was a critical part of that, too. And he's like, I blew him up. Yeah, he's not here anymore. It's <laughs> fine now. It's fine. He's like, I blew him up. <laughs> I just go, have fun, honey. And I just lay down and go to sleep. <laughs> Pat him on the head as he's laying on the ground next to me. <laughs> Excellent. Um, yeah, you're all able to gather up any sort of relics and artifacts to take back and sell or take back and store in your museum, and uh, Egypt will survive for another, who knows how long. I guess we'll see what happens in part two. <laughs> another couple of days, at least. <laughs> um, but that it's is... Like, all, all of this is part one! Yep. <laughs> that is the Lost Library. That is, um... Thank you for uh, going through this whole adventure with me, heroes. Um, we'll be back eventually for part two, The Mumkey Returns, which is oodles and oodles of fun. I can't wait oh, for Ricky to get to play that. Um, as far as some announcements go around the channel, our heroes will be back on Monday night for Guardians of Haven to have some more space trauma adventures. Uh, hop on that trauma train. Yes. Choo choo. <laughs> Here are points. Ha. Everybody aboard. That's right. Get on the trauma train, everyone. Um, and then next Tuesday, we will be doing a brief introduction of our new show that is going to be going live uh, Gem Stars, which will be game mastered by Wiki. And I think almost everybody here will be playing, except for Kevin and I. I'll be in the background working on book stuff while uh, everybody else is doing fun magical girl stuff. I'll let Wiki talk about that. <laughs> Still a trauma train. I'm, oh, there, I'm interested there to see what trauma. fucking Wiki is like. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be Lighter fun. tone. Do you mean that for uh, real or is that a throw? Uh, no. so, I, think, no. I think what she means by lighter tone is if Alex is 90% gray. 
uh, Wiki's 85% gray, so technically light. My, mm. my trauma is sparkly. Fifty oh, Shades sorry. are fucked up. <laughs> some, some, glitter, some glitter got dumped in that paint. That's it. I do want to give everybody a chance to say goodbye and plug anything they want to plug, and then we will get out of here for the evening, starting with Joe. Oh, hi. Yes, uh, I'm Joe, and yay! This was fun. I needed this break, because life is... Mm. Uh, <laughs> and going to dragon con next week so i don't know where i'm exactly gonna be for next week's stream <laughs> it's gonna be fun oh. uh, so yeah um drink water stay hydrated and if you take medicine please make sure to take your meds because we love you and you gotta take care of you for us so yeah i'm gonna pass it to aunt puppy that's me um i had fun i enjoyed this Jonathan is kind of my spirit animal, so is <laughs> that. Um, I don't really have anything going on. I'll be back for Gem Stars. I mean, if I can ever get a character sheet together or a character, or you have a character, you, need, have a character. you just need you just need your sheet. I need my sheet and her name. <laughs> FantasyNameGenerators.com. That's how I got everybody else's names, but I didn't like any of the ones that they picked for her. So I have to keep, I have to keep thinking. So I okay. ended up choosing like five different things that my girls called. That's why it's just question marks. Cause you don't know which name to use with her yet. Yep. Anyways. So Spoilers. we'll see, but I'm not going to Dragon Con as much as I would like to. And there's so many people I wish I could get to see there. So, but I'll be here all alone by myself. i live like two miles from you <laughs> <laughs> and with that i will pass that to brandon <laughs> have a good evening everyone i will see, i'll be one of the people who sees you next tuesday for gem stars um and read a book and I'm going to pass it down to Deuce. Hey, it's me. Thank you for letting me tag along. Absolutely a lot of fun. Go team crime. Uh, all I'll say is pay Finn, go to bed at your bedtime, and don't forget parents. <laughs> don't ever let your kids grow up to play speedsters. And Wiki. Hi, that's me. Uh, it's been fun to be Rick uh, for these three sessions. And um, I'm I'm just going to call Rick for the um, sequel because <laughs> I feel like Alex. <laughs> um, so Rick just needs to come back. So, uh, yeah, uh, you will see me again on Tuesday um, when we do our little intro for uh, Jump Stars. And uh, it'll just be a little introduction thing, give you all an idea of what the what the new show is so you know tune in maybe i'll answer a couple of questions from chat um alex yeah i think that's <laughs> everyone i will not be a dragon con i will be a dragon con but i'm not leaving till wednesday morning yeah i uh, i have had enough people breathing on my face after gen con <laughs> i'll see everybody at <laughs> actually that's not true um i will be if anybody's in the Pittsburgh area in the first weekend of October, I will be the industry guest of honor for the Pittsburgh Gaming Expo, which feels Aww. ridiculous to me, but okay. It um, is not. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm with Brandon on that. That's awesome. Well deserved. It's ridiculous, but I appreciate you guys saying that. Why um, not both? It could be both. Uh, I'll be running two Mutants Masterminds games, and I'll be leading a panel talking about running superhero RPG games, so... If you're in the area and you want to come hang out with me, I'll be there. Um, thank you, Keith. I appreciate it. And I'm looking forward to seeing you again, Keith, at Origins next year. And come back and hang out with us to chat again. We have a lot of fun here. Um, with that, I think, everybody, thank you for hanging out with us. And have a wonderful rest of your evening. Be good to each other. <laughs>